All right, moving on to the My Room assignment. It says that since you've been kind of, kind of quarantined your house for a couple of weeks, you probably have a pretty good idea of what your room looks like, even with your eyes closed. You'll be able to pick out where everything is. All right, so anyways, it says here we're going to draw your room as accurate as possible um, using the tools you have at home with for measuring. It says to sketch out on a sheet of paper. So maybe you have a piece of paper and just sketch out your room. Um, maybe you have a, well, I should put my pencil up here. All right, got my, so I can draw a lot better than before. Okay, so I measured up my room and mine's kind of a square. in which I have about 13 feet, 6 inches along these walls, and then 15 feet, 6 inches along these walls. I got a doorway over here that leads out to the hallway, and we got a doorway kind of here that leads to a little bit of a closet. Um, all my walls in the room are 8 feet tall. I know that my door is exactly 12 inches from the edge. The door itself is only a 30 inch wide door. Um, and it's 84, 82. Measure that again real quick here. Hold on. Door, measure it. Eighty-two inches tall, and the store here, the closet. Again, there's a little twelve-inch opening. It's a thirty-six-inch door, and also eighty-two inches tall. So you have a thirteen-six, fifteen-six, eight feet tall. I know doors. I know doors. Okay, it's all my sheet of paper. I got that ready to go, but. No worries, because it says for part one, it's going to sketch an accurate drawing of a room. Did that. Include the item mentioned above. I did that. Then it says to draw the basic shape of your room. Do not draw doors or windows yet. So check point one's kind of a smaller one, but it takes longer to measure and draw than to do everything. So new drawing, delete. We have four walls for me to draw. If you have some angled walls in your room, figure out that, that angle. My guess is probably going to be an angle of 45 degrees, but no guarantee on that. So I have 15 foot 6. Then follow your numbers, follow your green and reds. 13 foot 6. 15 foot 6. And then 13 6. And then all mine are 8 foot tall. And escape to a line. 8 foot tall. Escape another line, eight foot tall, and the last one, eight foot tall. So not much to do in this first drawing besides just figure out the, your room size, figure out the basics of all the stuff. So there's my little box of a room. Okay, uh, I want to see inside of it. So this roof. For now, we're going to remove. So now we have the room to move on to with the next set of drawings, okay? Part one is done, but again, this takes some time on this here. Measure accurately. If it takes you, you know, half an hour to figure out all the measurements, awesome. Ten minutes, eh, even better, okay? Big thing here is figure out doors and windows. You want to know how far over from a wall a door is how wide a door is, how tall a door is, and you want to know as far as windows. Okay, I forgot to add mine to my drawing, so go back and measure my windows again. Um, but how wide a window is, how tall a window is, and the height, or is it right here, height off the floor. So from the floor up to the bottom window, how high is that? So get all that done, then come over, draw the shape, save it, Checkpoint one is done.